You do not mess with two pops of cure and Tony Hall. Why not? You mix them two together, it's, it's not looking good. You look very obvious, you mix the two together, it's, it's not looking right. You're getting caught. Just what? They're just a goofy look? Is that is that like telling me? I, I I didn't I didn't I didn't rationalize like chemistry. I don't I I just know you don't mix that too. So I can't go into Compton with with me looking like I am, or I can go into Compton. Tony Paul can't. I can go into Compton because why, Richard? You can rationalize. Well, I'm Dirk Robinson from the Martin House Workshop. Yes. Right. Plus you're a Scorpio. Scorpios and I'm a Scorpio. Do, yeah, Scorpios do stuff like that. See doing it all my life. The Tony Hawk Tupac analogy I made, I know how Scorpios are, what they can do, but I can't explain it because I'm not a Scorpio. I can't explain it. And why is that? Because... Wait, what sign are you? I'm a Libra. And when was your birthday? October 16th. So you just missed out being a Scorpio. Yep. Honey, it was like six more days, right? Yep. <laughs> it's that. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the time when you were upstairs and you got drug out by the police. Remember that time with Cecil? Cecil. You were getting hot. Oh, yeah. You remember? What happened there? The police didn't come. They, can't, they came, but I was already gone. You were already gone. But that was, well, how many times have the police called on and you? The problem, with, the problem with me and Cecil was how me and, me, actually, I'm not, I'm not messing with race or nothing, but me and black men have a problem with, with fighting. You we, do. We, we keep getting very aggressive. And I know they can use the hand, but I know martial arts. And I'm pretty much like, I will kick the hell out of you. And he's pretty much like, I'm going to bang the hell out of you. So that caused a problem. And everybody else that got around don't, don't know what's going on. Me right. and well, Cecil are both but, guilty. But you're both, exactly. You're both guilty. And here's the problem, though, too, is you have that problem in the community. I have a problem with getting angry and running my mouth. Well, you do get that problem. I mean, you, you, but that's usually drug-induced. Yeah. Right? It is. It is. That's, it is. There's no two ways about it. Right now, was the late, you have you've got a pretty clean urine right now, correct? No. Ah. They screwed me. They, Who did that? They, I, I caught on everything that happened. I felt so guilty and put all the pieces. I was like, I've been, I could, I had to have a court date for a whole month. Right near when I'm about to go to court, for me mouthing off, I had a court date. Everybody did something new, sort of acting so nice, came to me and. It was like a guy gets fresh out of jail and meets Pamela Anderson, and she's like, I'm in love with you. Come with me. That's how bad they hit me, how bad the addiction is. I was like, Jesus Christ. I was so upset. You're so bad, Richard. I was so upset. See, you wait. Hold, like hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Let's listen to Tom for a second. All right. Women trouble. Yeah. All right, so then let's get back to that uh, point again about uh, your drug use and about none, your urine. None of them. So what happened? None, some, somebody came to me because I was mouthing off that I had a court date, and I said I was coming clean. I said, I'm about to go to court. I've been clean for a long time. Somebody older than me came to me acting like my friend. Since they have no negatives on me, they have found, they have came to me and pretty much knew how to get somebody to fall for an addiction. And? and I made an analogy. The guy analogy. wants to know red rum was at least with fentanyl this time? Or we don't know. It had, probably was fentanyl. It had fentanyl in the crack? I think so because it did not feel like cocaine. It felt like fentanyl. It felt like... And how many like times have I told you Richard Mosley that you're going to OD one of these times with fentanyl? Yeah, one of them felt guilty and said, Richard, stop doing it. I think he ain't want the charge. That's all he cares for. That's all he cares for. He don't want the charge. He regrets why he made the setup. I'm talking to Mr. Kenny to cover my ass, and I realized if I go to jail, I'm not, I, I, I will be depressed. Once that gate closed, you hear that clink, clink. How many, times, how many times have I taken you to, gotten you into drug treatment, and you heard the door clink, clink, and you uh, walked right back out? A couple times? Three, uh, at least. Now, let me ask you a question. We know at the detention center, those doors go clink. You can't just sign yourself out, can you? Nope. 
Then you got consequences. Hey, but you know what I told you I would do? What? I'd come visit you. Yeah. Right? right. And then maybe say, uh, have you learned your lesson? Because that's what happened to Peter Steinberg. Remember uh, I told you Judge Mimi Coomer, Cooper? Yeah. Laid the hammer to him? Yeah. Because he kept drinking at the Martin house? Yeah. I got six years of this stuff. And literally, Richard's only one of them. My mind's mush, and I'm just letting everybody know. All right, Richard. All right. We're gonna talk about, let's talk about how much volunteering you did when you are at the workshop. A lot. Right now, I'm doing a lot of volunteer. I volunteer at a new day. I volunteer at the Paul Martin House. I help Brian. I told Miss Paulette I like volunteering. I, I, you know, pretty much I'm not interested. You know, I'm not gonna bug her about money. I like volunteering. I had realized over time that I continuously volunteered. I didn't realize I was volunteering. I was like a zombie. Now let me ask you a question. Remember when we go to Larry's house and work for cash money on the barrel? Yeah, that's not volunteering. You get money. That's a job, right? Yeah, that's. A Tell job. me about how you like working. I love working. I, I miss the golf course. Well, I know, but what happened at the golf course? That that was just because the, the weather changed. Well, I think you want... No, well, you guys, we had phone issues and stuff, right? No, the, the, the or, uh, no, golf no. wasn't a positive. That was the negative on the golf course because the, the season changed. They, they closed down. The oh, season. yes, the season. That's right. Yeah, the golf course was the season change. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's I, right. That, that was a good job I worked. Yeah, you... Uh, 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 the only problem you had at the golf course... You always had your boots untied. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Hey, my boots untied now. I know, and you're going to break your neck, and then what's going to happen? I'm gonna, You're going to be in a busted up neck. You can't walk. I'm going to walk up to you and say, Richard, you should have tried tied your shoes, shouldn't you? Yeah. You really got me, Richard. Yeah. There used to be a homeless um, housing church. Yes, rotating shelter, right? Yeah, the guy at Voice of Hope, the new guy, he told me that they used to leave the doors unlocked for people at night to walk in. They used to. I wonder who that was. I wonder if that was TJ, your boy. No, the uh, the new guy, the young guy that got the nose, the uh, the, uh, the the bull the bull nose ring. How bulls get? Oh yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. He's real young. He's the youngest. Got you, got you. All right. He's, so he's what's his name? My best friend. Oh yeah, TJ Marco. Oh, Marker, guy. Marker was best friend. All right, say goodbye. Goodbye. That's a good interview. Yeah. Now nah, let's go see what Kenny wants. Richard, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, she went out there. Oh, oh did you see that little? She got it better. Watch out. Oh, no. She mad. Yep. She's going to get yelled at. Oh. Remember the man house, Richard? Yeah. Where's that? At? Right here. I was a patient there. I was a resident there in uh, 1990. Right here. You've been to meetings here before. Oh, that's the main house? Yeah. I couldn't find it because I didn't know it was a house. Yeah. Yep, right there. I uh, wrote the plaque in the uh, Tanzola Hall as a remembrance to uh, my dear friend Kate Tanzola. Mm -hmm. One of the first persons I met in recovery, Father Morton's Ashley. My Father Morton Ashley and then Kate Tanzola. Woo! All right. Talk about a double whammy there. That was... <laughs> 